You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. The game is red hot now. So what have we got? From every indication, there's only one aspirant left now. Which is? Donald Adams. The rest are either dead or have chickened out. Steve chickened out. So did Shagun. Jane, what do we have on Donald? He's afraid I could get murdered. Oh well, um, I think he has a point there. I see. And just today, you embarrassed me in that meeting. You of all people, Jane, how could you? Do you have something to hide? Listen, Simba, we've been friends for too long and I won't hide anything from you. I just didn't want to scare the other sisters in the meeting. Scare? Yes. You see, Donald is something else. For so long, I have been trying to get something out of him, but that guy will not let anything out. He is so cautious and he is bent on getting to the state house. I see. So what have you been doing all this time? Jane, what have you been doing for months now? I have tried. You have been trying? What do you mean you have been trying? You have been on this guy for some time now. You tell me you don't have anything to you don't have anything to tell me you don't have anything on this guy. I have tried my what best! Why do you not best. tell me that? Why do you have to show your best? Your best is not good enough, Jane, because you cannot stand there and tell me as a professional that you do not have oh, anything please, on our please give me Don't a tell me that, Jane! Then what have you been doing for so long? What have you been doing for so long? Please, please! Don't please, please! please. Do not please! please. Political hands of yours getting too dangerous. Eh? I'm not finding it funny any longer. The injury, all the dangers, the shooting, it is becoming too much. I don't think so, Mom. Relax. You don't think so? Sure, I knew it was going to be like this, so I've taken adequate precautions. My son, no amount of precaution is adequate. Exactly. Don't be overconfident. Come on, both of you, relax, okay? Mom, really, I'll be fine, okay? Don't worry, I'll be okay. That is Simba Richard's threat is real. Then take my advice and quit. Quit? Quit for a woman? Why not? Daddy, you literally forced me into this game. So why are you backing out now? I am no more encouraged. I have made every contact with everybody in the party and they are all in your favor. But with all this murder and blackmail going on, I, I had to rethink. Then you have to think a third time. And what do you mean by that? I want Simba Richards off my back. Talk to her father, Justice Richards. That girl must step down for me. It is pointless. How? Justice Oluwachegun Richards is one man still living who would never be bamboozled by me. I see.
tried to dissuade you from this deadly game. But since you insist, I'll tell you this. Donald Adams is one opponent you need not worry about. Daddy, he is going to get the ticket, except a miracle happens. And I'll provide the miracle. How? Do you know him? To whom much is given, much is expected. Senator Matthew Adams owes me a favor. It's time to collect it. My father is afraid of him. Who is he? Retired Justice Olua Shego Richards. Simba's father? Yes. Why? I don't know. That's what I intend to find out. Yes, we have to find out. You'll do it for me. The four years that my father was the president of the Senate, Justice Richards was in charge of the Supreme Court. <laughs> you will go to Abuja. Try, use any means possible. Dig into the files. Try and see all the cases that were mentioned during that period and really dig out if my father had any case at all, no matter how small. You find that out and I'll pick it up from there. Okay? It's done. And Raph, please keep it on the wraps for me. It's between you and I alone. Not even Pete should know about this. You can come to me. Trust me. I know. But if you ignore this warning, then you will regret the very day you set your eyes on me for the rest of your life. I said, trust me. Jeez. Rafa, I've got to go now. That bitch is waiting for me in another hotel. So I'll see you later. Okay. So you think you have a plan? Oh, this is very nice. But there's something that is missing. It's something of the heart. See, I think I know the game. And I play it all the time. Take a lesson from the teacher The teacher Believe me, it's no fun Oh, whoa, oh And so, in this present political dispensation, we must not let down the people who give us. Yes, come in. Hi, Donald. Hi. Yes, what have you got for me? 
she won't play. That girl has a lump of granite in place of her heart. Jane, 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 listen to me. In your own interest, go right back to her and get me results, okay? Donald, it's pointless. Can't you understand? I'm speaking English. I see. I see. <laughs> she won't quit, huh? She won't quit. We shall see. Good day, Miss Richards. And to what do I owe this ungentlemanly conduct? Providence, Miss Richards, or do you prefer I call you Simba? Mr. Adams, I do not entertain visitors without appointment. As you can see, I'm an extremely busy lady. If you must see me, then you can go conduct yourself with my secretary. An appointment. You fall in queue, actually. And it could get you a turn in maybe in the next three weeks. <laughs> uh, Simba, I cherish your sense of humor, but then, right now, you are definitely acting out of character. I was told that you are humane and intelligently sociable. You sure have a nice place here, though. Oh! I came to see the lady who dared where men have fled. And right now, Simba, looking into your eyes, I can see why. You are a tigress, Simba. Congratulations. What for? You have got plenty of it, unlike most ordinary women. But then, Simba, you are not an ordinary lady. You are intelligent, very intelligent. And above all else, you are captivating. You are sensuous. You are beautiful, like Cleopatra. That's you. <laughs> Perhaps someday soon we will see. <laughs> Great. I got everything in here. 
Oh, wonderful. Let me roll. Thanks. 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 What can I do without you? With a friend's telephone. <laughs> Uh, I'll give you a call later, okay? See, it's not yeah. about Thanks. the gun. No winner takes it all. This is not the way to reason. It's not a way to Plenty of it, unlike most ordinary women. But then, Simba, you are not an ordinary lady. You are intelligent, very intelligent, and above all else, you are captivating, you are sensuous, you are beautiful, like Cleopatra. For God's sake! Look, stay out of my office and out of my life. My destiny is beyond you. Simba, I'm sure you don't know what you're talking about. I want you to get out. Get out of my office! Don't out. Okay. I'll leave right now. But be sure that I'll be back. Not on your life. Simba, are you sure you know what you're doing? I know exactly what I'm doing. He's a fool. He thinks I'm scared of him. He doesn't even know what he's dealing with. He's a prankster. I need to know what I'm dealing with here. Oh, listen. That guy is very dangerous. He's dangerous and he's capable of doing anything. You just have to be careful. Try not to hurt him. Jin, I am not scared of him. And I'm going to hurt him. In fact, I'm going to hurt his whole family if he as much as comes this close to me again. You think I'm scared of him? Don't you watch. Be careful. Oh, be careful. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear that. It's not how you start, but how you finish. That is the matter. That's why I want to finish and finish it in good style. Look, I have told you you have no chance. How many times will I tell you? A million times perhaps, but until you tell me why, no way. I told you to roll, and when I say cut, then the action stops. I am the director of this game, not you. You think this is a movie? You think this is a film? I'm sorry, Dad. This is real life action. It's real life, and I will stop. Nobody tells me cut. Look, would you keep quiet, damn it? I am your father. I am your son, for God's sake. So, nobody tells me, Cut, if you don't tell me why I should stop now, I'll keep on rolling. Now, you listen to me. And you listen real good. One more step forward. And I will do what I have to do. What are you going to do now? Disinherit me? You have said so. Did I hear you right, Chief? Yes. Good. So, what am I still doing here? I have to leave before I'm, I'm thrown out. Thrown out? Do you see what you are doing? He never wanted to get into this politics in the first place. You forced him. 
and now see how it's tearing you apart. Ah, it's only just being a stubborn grasshopper. You hear that, Mom? I'm leaving for God's sake. Shut up, Donald. And where do you think you're going? To be elected into the House of Assembly, of course. Uh -huh. Now you listen to me. When a child insists on knowing what killed his father, and that child hasn't come of age, what killed his father will definitely kill him. The same proverb says that when a child has come of age and refuses to ask what killed his father, what killed his father will kill the son. Donald! Don't Donald me, Mom. Don't you both think I've come of age? Don't you? Would you call him back? Call him for what? He will definitely come back. Then you don't know yourself. I've quit the house. The family house. I've quit. Donald, you did what? Yeah, my father is now turning out to be a man that I never knew. If I continue to stay close to him, we will lose this game, and I don't intend to lose. Do now! Raphael, trust me, I know what I'm doing. So how do we forge ahead? I'm, I'm using the hotel now. Hotel? Yeah. I'm using the hotel. If I stay back in our family house with what I know right now, we will lose. And mark my word, and mark it clearly, I am not in this game to lose. Do not, do not stay in the hotel with Tonos into cowboys. I thought I told you never to come to my office again. Silva, relax. Sit down. Relax and sit. Look, Donald, I decide what happens in my own office, okay? I told you I'll be back again. Simba, you know. You get wise when few things annoy you. Indeed, and you are one of those few things. Never deal with a man who has nothing to lose. It was an advice given to me by my father a long time ago. And right now, I got nothing to lose. You know, Donald, I'm yet to really understand what it is that you really want from me. All right. If I have to say it a million times, then I will. It is you that I want. Yeah, one moment, Raph. Yeah. What do you want? Well, I guess we all make mistakes. What mistakes are we talking about here? Yours or mine? Son, a man is wise when he doesn't appear too clever. In line with a rich man's joke, being funny always, huh? I think I have learned to tolerate what I cannot change. What do you really want? You. Me? Donald. You are my only son. I want you to come home. I, I did not just lose my calm. I had reasons, good reasons. But I believe that it is your right to know. So please, come home with me and I'll tell you. It's too late now. Too late. I have found out. You have? 
Yes. I told you I didn't want to play this game, Dad. I also told you that when I make up my mind to play it, I wouldn't quit. Nothing will make me quit. Now, see where the whole thing has landed us. Raking up muck. All sorts of dirt from your past. 24 years ago, precisely on the 18th of April, you were charged with murder. Yes. An Abuja High Court found you guilty of murder. You murdered your secretary then who had some vital information that if it had fallen into the hands of your political opponents, you wouldn't be elected into the Senate. So you murdered her. The court found you guilty. The appeal court also sustained their judgment. But surprisingly, the Supreme Court under Justice Oluwashegu Richards discharged and acquitted you. I mean, I, I didn't need a soothsayer to tell me that you were guilty as charged. That is why today, 24 years later, Daddy, you are still afraid of Justice Richards. What I don't understand is why a man with such impeccable records as Justice Richards should free a man like you who was found guilty of murder. More amazing still is the fact that the entire case received zero publicity, no mention at all in any of the newspapers then. Even your family wasn't in the know. How come? My son, my son, the president intervened. Political stalwarts of the party made a deal, and Justice Richards grudgingly behaved. Hmm. Naturally, I, I, I owe him one. That is why I prevailed on you. That you should step down for him. <laughs> so I became the ransom. I became your sacrificial lamb. <laughs> well... I'd like to hear more about that case. You don't give up, do you? No. No, you led me on. So you might as well make a clean breast of it. Julie, let me see you in my office right away. Good day, Simba Richards. I hope you are doing well this morning. Julie, how dare you allow this man into my office unannounced? Stop! You go back to your table. Go back to your table. Mr. Adams, the next time you barge into my office and make me look silly in front of my staff, I will make you understand that my name Simba has five letters. <laughs> that makes you inferior to me then. My name Donald has six letters. Even the first three are much more powerful. Don. So. That makes me the Don. <laughs> then you'll have my father to contend with. Justice Richards. Simba, let's leave our fathers out of this for now, please. Mm. 
Mr. Adams. What do you want? Simba, please call me Donald. <laughs> but perhaps it would be better if you address me as the Don from now on. I haven't asked you to sit down. That's because you have been hostile to me all this while. Playing the politics of hostility won't get you anywhere. Simba, that is old-fashioned politics. We're in a new era. For the umpteen time, Mr. Adams, what do you want? I want you to get into the State House of Assembly. Yeah. What? Yes. What did you say? Congratulations, Honorable Simba Richards. the matter now tell me what do you want to do now oh I am learning the most important aspect of life patience you know like they say the patient dog eats the fattest bone not in politics my son not in politics in politics you must do what you have to do to survive Daddy, that's where you and most of our people go wrong. Patience. I will embrace patience. I'm rushing off for a meeting, Dad. I'll see you later. Thank you for honoring this invitation, Simba. Before you start getting too excited on me honoring this information, you better tell me or have a good reason for bringing me to this place or else I'll take a hack. Well, I was under the impression that you're just a politician canvassing for votes to get yourself into the State House of Assembly. So? So I ain't too worried about losing my vote. <laughs> Your vote? Were you ever considering voting for me? You never know, do you? That is one big joke I'll take to the grave. Special Simba, and believe me, you have every chance of getting there. How about you? No, 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 let's finish talking about you. I, I didn't get into this game for winner takes all. I recognize talent when I see one. Just what are you getting at? About 2,000 years ago, one great man asked another, are you he who is to come or do we wait for another? Jesus Christ was no politician. You're wrong. You say that because the Bible didn't record the great battles that Christ had to fight in order to wrestle the right hand of God from the devil. You know, Mr. Adams, don't you think it would be a wise decision for us to get to our various businesses what? instead of this lousy method of yours trying to dissuade me or should I say make me lose focus? Have you ever wondered about this world we live in? What the world will be like if God and devil are not in direct opposition? And were you ever thinking that this world would have been a better place without good or evil? Certainly. Because even you with all the law books in your collection wouldn't even know the difference. <laughs> well, I don't... Simba, if you're playing positively to lift our great nation to the path of glory once more, then you have an ally here. And on the contrary. Stop you! Whatever it takes. 
mark my word. I'll stop you. Donald Adams is beginning to really scare me. I think that man is too smooth, Daddy. I'm beginning to think that he's a better politician than I am. Nah, so come I... on. You don't have to worry about him, okay? When the time comes. <laughs> when the time comes. The time is now, Daddy. seem to have left a very important issue unanswered, so that's why I'm here. Can I see it at least? <laughs> why not? Please sit. Thank you. You're without your charms today, but I'm trying to place a finger where you're coming from. Peace for one. One individual to another. You see, the most important thing about politics is not being elected. So what exactly is it about? Getting your will done. You don't truly sing or wish to get into the state house, do you? Like I said before, it doesn't really matter anymore. So what matters to you? <laughs> you, for instance. Me? Simba, you are a very remarkable woman. You're one in a million. Since the first time I came here to meet you, thoughts, various thoughts have been playing around and going through my mind. You know, I'm an extremely busy person. And precisely right now, I'm so busy. Hey, come on, I just said thoughts. That's all. Do you send people to the gallows for their thoughts? If you're very conversant with the Bible, you'll realize that thought actually is a part of sin. Uh, that is, if the thoughts are of evil. But my thoughts for you are for good, to bring you to your expected end. That is also in the Holy Book. What exactly are you driving at? Like I said before, I want you in the State House of Assembly. That's all. See, it's not about the gun. No winner takes it all. This is not the way to read. It's not a way to win Do you have to take a life? Do you have to cheat to win? I will do it all my own way Love is all I need oh. There's something else that amazes me, Jane. You were supposed to capsulate Donald Adams? Yes. So? So, you see, Jane, 
that guy is as slick as a snake. He gives me this uncanny feeling that is like he rips my mind open. Do you know that that guy has not taken me anywhere beyond his office? And if you ask me, I think he knows my mission. I think so too. I mean, would you believe that that guy has been visiting my office of late? He's indicating his interest for me to get to the State House of Assembly. What? Strange, right? He's up to something. There's something. Oh. Whoa. Fire burning in your eyes No, we have to play it right Let us show the world it's not a do or die Son, aren't you giving Simba Richards too much room? You refuse to back out yet your approach seems to be giving her the edge. Do you want a woman to humiliate you? I'm just interested in finding out the real stuff that she's made of, Dad. That's all. Uh, I, I hope this is not all because of pride. Nah, not in the least, Dad. Not in the least. Then, back out now. Don't wait to be humiliated. As a loving father to a son, please back out now. And I'm telling you, you as a respectful son to a once very successful father. It is too late to back out now. Let the delegates decide. Yes. Let the delegates You know, Donald, you never cease to amaze me. We're supposed to be enemies, you know. No, point of correction. My dear. Political opponents, not, not enemies. <laughs> In politics, the both of them are the same thing. Thank God I'm not a politician. So why are you buying for the State House of Assembly? Simple. To get you elected. You know, Donald, I'm tired of this rubbish. You've been saying this severally. Can you say something else? It is better to face the fear at once than to live perpetually in it. What are you driving at? I have considered very carefully about a seat in the State House of Assembly. At the same time, I've observed you at close quarters, and to my mind, a mind that is never at turmoil, I have come to the conclusion that I... A mind that is clear now to see what you're doing? Thank you. The choice between you and a seat in the State House of Assembly arose to my mind, but then you are the obvious choice. What are you driving at? He who find it a woman, find it a good thing, and uh, obtain it favor from God. I'm, I'm sure you must know where it is in the Bible because you've said that before. You know, Simba, I cherish you so much and I will do whatever I can.
to get you into the State House of Assembly. <laughs> Donald, you are running away. I used to think that you were a brave man. In a just world, my dear Simba, there wouldn't be any need for bravery. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, Donald, this is not a just world. But then, with you, I will live in a just world. Do not answer me. About what? About the killings. I mean. Political aspirants of different posts are being killed these days. Yeah, that's how dirty the game has become around here. I'm afraid. But don't be. Don't be? Yeah, it's only the guilty that are afraid. Are you guilty? Guilty of what? So, this... Be calm and move around your normal business, but make sure that you don't do anything with anybody who has nothing to lose. That reminds me. Somebody, some anonymous, anonymous persons called my place and asked me to leave my residence. I almost did not, but on the second forward, I, I did. That same night, gunmen stole my place. Count yourself lucky then. Look, do you believe in that? Oh yeah, sure. There's nothing you can do without luck. Courage without luck it means nothing. So I believe in it. We talk about the four letter word. What four letter word? Fake? No, love. What about love? You see, the lack of love is the greatest sin that everyone tries to avoid. Everyone. <laughs> when one loves oneself only, one has no rivals. Are you that selfish? Maybe. Then how do you hope to serve the people who are going to give you their mandate? Now that's another ball game altogether. It's not. You know, this is politics. Politics is life, you, you accept? Certainly. Love is life too. Maybe. So bringing in the law of equality here and then introducing a little bit of arithmetic. Politics equals love, right? Look, Donald. No, 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 no. D don't try to avoid it, my dear. Love conquers all. As for me, love is wisdom for the foolish and folly for the wise. Why would you talk like that? If you're coming from where I'm coming from, you say worse things. And where exactly are you coming from, my dear Simba? I'm coming from a deep valley of sacrificial lambs and from the stable of an innocent girl who's been once hot. Good. But this is exactly the problem I have with you women. If you try the first time and fail, why not try again? The woman where I was made, there is no word like failure. No, 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 that's not politics. And I mean, it's not political. And we're talking politics here. The game of life is about learning to chew from the smooth 
and also chew from the rough. Have you ever been in a dilemma, Simba? Once. What about now? What about now? Yeah, what about now? You know, I mean, um, are you in a dilemma between loving me and failing again? Is there something wrong somewhere? No, not in my character. Or you're just one of the kinky type? It's not that either. So what do I sum up this whole meeting as? Some form of little proposal? Exactly, Simba. Play along with me. Play along with Donald and then defeat other opponents. That's all. What if I said no? Then, you leave me with no other choice, I'm afraid. <laughs> You're a politician. So you adopt blackmail? No. I wouldn't debase myself by resorting to blackmail to win your love, would I? I shouldn't think so. Mm -hmm. But let me warn you. In fact, let me tell you. Nothing is going to stop me from getting to the state house of assembly. Good. Then love me, Simba. Love me. Donald, it takes a lot to win my heart. Really? Not even the prospect of a smooth sail into the State House of Assembly? That is the point. I don't need you. In fact, my father already told me that you, Donald Adams, are not a threat to me. Strangely, my own father told me the same thing about you, too. Really? Absolutely. Then we'll need to know which father to believe, yours or mine. I don't know about that, Simba. I really don't know, but the game here is politics, and uh, if I were you, I would consider experience. My own father was a former Senate president, political. Your father? Retired. Supreme Court George. Civil service. Isn't the choice obvious now? <laughs> Donald Adams, has it ever occurred to you that your father may have stepped on more toes than my father on their way to ascendancy? Perhaps you say this because you've never bothered to go to our prisons and see the men, women, young and old, all of them who are languishing there as a result of your father's verdicts. You've not. <laughs> I said, excuse me. Mr. Adams, how come you lunch with your opponents? Politics is for matured minds. You know, Miss Richards is a very remarkable woman. When I get to the State House of Assembly, I will need her immense contribution so that I succeed for our constituency. So why not cultivate her friendship now? That's exactly what I'm doing. Are you telling your electorate? I'm not telling anybody anything. All I'm saying is that politics is not about gunning down your opponents, but recognizing their strong points and utilizing those strong points to serve the people. That's all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Juliet! 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 Yes, honey? Can you imagine? It is not the papers that my own daughter had lunch with her major opponent. Uh -huh. uh, come on. Uh, why is she allowing herself to be used by that boy? I thought you said you were going to support her all through. Yeah, but she's going off the track. Huh. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Nonsense. Can you imagine? I, I wasn't there. But we both know Simba better than that. If she's allowing herself to be led, probably it's because she might have found it necessary. Hey, hello, Daddy. What's all this nonsense? It is in all the papers that you had lunch with your major opponent. 
Why? Dad? It is in all the papers. Why Dad? are you allowing that boy to lead you by the nose? Why? Daddy, this is politics, not war. I only did lunch with him, that's all. It is war. Didn't you read his comments? Don't you know that other voters are reading? So? Are you asking me? <laughs> Look, Daddy, how many times have elections in this country been determined by votes anyway? I thought we had made that clear. Daddy, relax. When the time comes, my party will do their selection. And who says you'll be selected the way you're going? Remember how much I've invested in this politics. <laughs> Don't worry, Daddy. I'll be selected. After all, I am the daughter of the ex-Supreme Court George. <laughs> I told you. Did it die? I told you. Yes. She's going to make it. <laughs> Pulling ourselves a little once in a while helps us in our ways. You really think so? Oh yes, I do. Hmm. Very much so. I see. <laughs> so, Simba, I have been fantasizing our relationship. Well, that's because you have a lot of spare time in your schedule. No, quite far from that. It's because thoughts of you always occupy my mind. <laughs> well, Donald, it's not like I haven't been thinking about you. It's just that I haven't been fantasizing about your advances. For one, because I know it's a game. A gimmick. Fake. Fake? Oh yeah, fake, Donald. Donald, I know that behind this... Um, Lovely, very romantic eyes lie a man just as ambitious and desperate as myself. Suddenly, you're going to throw all that out to fantasy? Simba, I told you I had to make a choice between politics and love. You. And you win, baby. Always win. <laughs> Donald, and what makes me so special? For a start, you live in a man's world. Which is supposed to be a disadvantage according to women's qualities? And that's because you don't understand the skill of preferences of the man in question. So are you trying to say... That is the positive aspect of my skill of evaluation. It's the most positive. <laughs> Donald, you know, there really should be a poet. That's part of the reason why I'm stepping down for you. In fact, Simba, with you by my side, I will have enough poem for the world. I want you, Simba. Really, I do. And I promise you, you will never, ever regret it. I was show you on television yesterday. Oh. With uh, Simba. How is she responding? Oh, 
slowly, but she's very suspicious. Wouldn't say I blame her. I mean, it would be out of sorts for your main rival to suddenly turn become your main companion. Yeah. Yeah, but then she's a woman, so she will always be vulnerable to charms like mine. <laughs> but then she's taking her time. Can't say I blame her too. I have to go through with it. I have no choice. My father really left a lot of problems for me along the way that really I have no choice. See, I'm telling you this because, man, you ought to know. Already you know a lot, Raph. But then if she suddenly turns wise, I have other ways of making people toe my line. Especially women. The dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure, you know me. Yeah. <laughs> Brandy? Sure, what else? Brand, brand. Bernard, what is wrong with you? I don't seem to understand your game anymore. You insist you are not backing out yet. You play a Romeo to your bitterest rival. Courage is a thin line between cowardice and stupidity. You leave me no better choice. Are you... Are you trying to tell me that Adolf Hitler was right when he said many uh, would be uh, a coward if they uh, had the courage to run away? Perhaps. But I certainly won't run away. You put me to it. I'm only trying to tolerate that which I cannot change. Hmm. Well, tolerance is... Uh, it's uh, often another form of uh, cowardice. In this case, it is not. It is not, I can assure you that. But let me tell you. You have fallen short of a father someone like me would wish to have. Donald. Did I hear you right? Exactly. If you had so much courage as you have often professed, you would have told me long ago that you murdered your secretary in order to pave the way for you to become the Senate President. Do not! You wouldn't have waited for me to find out. Neither would you have lured me into politics here, knowing that politics in this place is a minefield. Do not! I am still your father. The hell you are. Don't talk to me like that! I just did. Huh? I just did. And for now, leave me alone to recreate my destiny. Because all you did was to mortgage my future in the hands of another accomplice. You made me the ransom. Your sacrificial lamb. Donald! 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 Miss Richard, you needn't have passed that day reception at all. You should have come in straight. I follow the rules, Mr. Adams. Donald. Call me Donald, please. Sit down. All right, Donald. Yeah, please sit. Well, I came here to find out how you knew that I was marked for mother. Oh, that. Well, I have my network, you know. While uh, Coca and the other guy were busy knocking themselves and others off. Drug induced thoughts. I was busy doing my homework. I was infiltrating their network, so I knew what their game plan was and I had to tip you off. 
Why? I told you that before. I want you to get into the State House of Assembly. Listen to this. Is that Simba Richards? Never mind. But don't sleep at home today if you want to stay alive. That was my voice you heard on that tape precisely two weeks ago. <laughs> well, Mr. Adams, I... I thought you wanted to get to the State House of Assembly as much as I did. That's what everybody thinks. You see, that's what everybody believes, but it's not so. I'm in this game to scare off the other men for your sake. Simba, I am going to drop. I'm going to withdraw from the race on the day of the primaries. I'll step down for you. You're going to what? Yes. I'll step down for you. What is the meaning of that? You know what it is, don't you? You know. <laughs> and who the hell do you think you are anyway, Mr. Adams? Some kind of hypnotist or something? No, far from that, Simba. I am your fiance. Come on. Now. You belong to me, Simba. Yeah, you do. So, put that ring where it probably belongs. Put it where it probably belongs, Simba. Go ahead. Simba, you haven't said I do. You haven't said I do. <laughs> They bought this far to pack up. You packed me up, Dad. Yeah, really, you packed me up. I mean, if Justice Richards should open your can of worms, I'm afraid my political life will be dead and buried. But never mind, Dad. I'll be back in four years' time. Four years? Four long years? For a man of patience, four years is like Four days. Yeah, but you told me you were not quitting. Who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. I'm quitting now, Dad, to be able to fight better tomorrow. And uh, what do you think of this uh, this uh, kind of wants, as you call it? Do you don't you think it will resurrect in the next four years? No, it won't. One dead. How would you do that? I have sealed it. Permanently. How? I'll be marrying Simba Richards. In the next four years, I'll be gunning for the Senate. And believe me, Dad, I'll get it. With Simba Richards as my wife, we'll have nothing but a winning combination. <laughs> My God. <laughs> what a master stroke. Daddy, please. I'm convinced that I love him. I believe so. 
Look, I think he's only playing it smart. He knew he stood no chance. Look, I think this whole thing is political. Dad? Look, I would have crushed him. His father knew that too. Dad, please. Anyway, if you love him, then go ahead. But be very careful. I will be very careful, Dad. I promise you. Okay. Anything for a loved daughter. <laughs> Thank you so much, Daddy. Yes, my dear. I love okay. you so much. It's all right. I love you. What about if um, we... Silver. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm here to hear you say it. Yes. Um, come on, my dear. Say it. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's all about Let's show the world It's not a do or die 